all these kids here, you have to pick someone to give a college presentation of standing here as a graduate, what they've been through. And right now, I'd like to bring up a kid that went to high school in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. He got his bachelor's degree from Bloomsburg, Mr. Chad Van Horn. Please come on up here as our student speaker. You may not recognize me, but I recognize you from editing all of you on the uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's not weird. It's weird. Um, first of all, I want to thank my sister for coming today. For that. <laughs> you don't hear me? I'm sorry. i got to make sure the microphone picks up, too, because I'm also recording. I'm multitasking. <laughs> so thank you, Beth, for being here. My mom could make it. My other sister could make it. The videos could make it. So, um, with heartfelt and genuine emotion, I would like to thank each and everybody else for each and everybody else for coming here tonight and to support a cause that literally gives life and changes lives of college students everywhere. I would also like to thank Billy, Judy, Lynn, and the rest of the board members for doing amazing work, and making all this possible. I wouldn't be here without it, without you. I really wouldn't be here either. So, um, to start, I grew up at home in Bethlehem with a white picket fence. I don't think it was actually. Well, might have been off weight, I don't know. But very killing is what's supposed to be. Um, my parents are my parents always took care of me. They made sure I had a wonderful childhood growing up, and I thank them sincerely for that. I feel like I've grown up to be an independent, responsible young man. I must admit, while in Bethlehem, I didn't care too much for school, but luckily I was good at it. I had really good grades, and when I graduated high school, finishing with 3.6, I didn't know what to do. It was halfway through my senior year. I didn't know where what I wanted to go. To school for, or even if I did want to go to school, thought about going into different things, and um, finally I walked into my 12th grade seniors, uh, 12th grade Mr. Bitter's class, and uh, sat down at the computer and started editing again. I was like, oh wow, I could actually go out and get paid for this, so that was kind of cool. And um, so I went to school for that, and I chose Bloomsburg. You might not think that that's a great school to go for for TV production, which I ultimately went for, but um, it was close by. I was, we were going through some family stuff at home, and. I don't want to be too far away. Uh, and it was cheap. That's another thing, it was cheap. <laughs> so, I was, I was also 18 years old. I didn't know what to do. I was naive. I didn't, everybody else was the same way. So, as a side note, um, I just want to let everybody else over here know you need to find your niche. You need to find what you're good at. You need to reach these stars. You know, nobody else can tell you what to do. You've got to chase your own dreams. You can't let anybody else make decisions for you. And um, I've made good decisions, and I've made bad ones. I've dealt with the consequences and we're still doing it now. So uh, now as I look back to my college experience, um, I learned a certain amount in the classroom. And I felt like I learned a lot more outside of the classroom. I started doing uh, short films outside the class and um, experiencing more things besides what I was learning in the class. Because um, in the class you can't really curse and stuff like that. But, uh, religious teachers, not really religious, she was a girl. But um, I started working with this staff member, Michael DiGiorgio. Uh, he went to school for film and he was awesome. He helped me out so much. He, uh, he taught me how so much about film and TV. And uh, I'm very proud to say that last year I got into the Pittsburgh Independent Film Festival um, in June of 2013. It was premiered, it was a 13 minute short film. Uh, premiered in front of hundreds of people I didn't know, and it was awesome to see my face on the on the camera and like that was my camera work and all that kind of stuff. So that's just the start for uh, what my future I think has to be. So I just have to take those dreams and go for it. Like, um, it's called Cold Soldier. If you, I don't know. Side note: Look it up. It's kind of cool. It's got a little trailer. <laughs> a lot of stuff on YouTube. Plugging YouTube more. So as for becoming involved with Best. Um, that's a story inside itself, actually. Uh, my mom wanted the best for me, and she reached out to a board member. I'm not going to name his name. I'm just going to right there. You all know who he is, Billy. <laughs> so soon after I met Billy in the summer of 2012, uh, I knew it was a great organization that I wanted to be a part of it. He carefully explained the organiza organization and what the intentions were, as well as their high expectations. And after that um, initial meeting with him, I knew right away that I not only wanted to be a part of it, but I also wanted to help out with this area of expertise. And, you know, I'm doing it here tonight. I'm working behind the cameras and 
in a couple months you'll see uh, every most of you will be on the, on the YouTube video. Um, so I came to the first banquet, videotaped it for the scholarship group, edited it, and met some great people along the way. I was introduced to Lynn, who you all know. Um, Bill, thank you for coming tonight. Um, Judy and the rest of the board members, um, along, with, along with other students and donors. And right away I could see the never-ending passion for what these people had been doing for the younger people for free of charge. It was an awesome, positive, ener positive energy associated, and um, there was a lot of love to be spread out to everybody. That following spring semester, I was accept accepted into the scholarship group and was grateful for the financial and emotional support they provided with me. Billy was there, step of the way. He, you know, he's my he's my mentor uh, all through college. For the last three semesters, um, my college grades uh, weren't too great. Um, I joined a fraternity my sophomore year of high school, or sophomore year of college, and uh, my grades started slipping a little bit. And Billy noticed this, um, so he let me know. It's like your grades are going to change. I'm going to I'm going to be there and call me up and whatever you need. I'll I'll help you. So. Um, that ultimately made me do better, and, and I finished college uh, my last semester with a 3.65 GPA. That was, thank you. Um, you know, if you say that out, say that out front, in front of everybody else, it's, it's, it means a lot. So, I end with you sharing something else I learned along the way. Soon after I was accepted into the scholarship group, I, Billy took me along um, on these interviews with these former baseball players and former athletes and celebrities. Um, so I got to interview these people uh, and I got to edit these videos and it was so cool because it took me along. And I, if I had just sat in my house, I would have never thought I would even be doing something like that. So I understand why all of you players are invited to an educational event because you're what you are what draws everybody else in. You're, you make the money for everybody. You make money for me, you make money for them. And it's it's great, I really can't thank you enough. Um, so, when you come out and um, pose and pose for pictures and sign autographs, you make everybody happy. You, you saw the little kids in here before, they're standing right over here, they're, they don't know who you are really. They, they're like, oh, you have a new tag, I love you. You're in this, you're in this, uh, you're there, I, I want your signature. So, it's great. Um, and I, I just wanted to say, I'm thankful for all of you, everybody else to be here. It, it's not something that, um, I can really say, uh, no. So that's what I want to end with. From my heart to each and every one of you, thank you.